Welcome back to Home Media Help. This video provides an overview of dedicated Plex clients and why you might want one. These clients are all capable of running as applications on a PC, but this video series is focused on running them as embedded clients on dedicated hardware. This creates an experience not unlike using a Roku box or smart TV. There is no visible operating system. If a problem comes up, just reboot. This makes them usable by anyone including those who are easily intimidated by technology. Plex has clients for practically every device known to man, so why would anyone need a dedicated box that runs nothing but Plex? There are several reasons. The first is shared by the NVIDIA Shield, which is the ability to direct play most content. The majority of Plex clients simply cannot handle advanced audio codecs, such as Dolby Atmos or DTS HD Master nor can they handle playback of full quality Blu-ray rips. This puts a transcoding load on the server and results in reduction in playback quality. The server load is not a problem if you have sufficient hardware, but it will bring your average NAS to its knees. The quality of a transcoded stream is usually pretty good, but people with great home theaters will want the best possible performance. The second reason is control over the user experience. There are four dedicated client solutions to pick from, and most offer a wide range of customization and configuration options that allow users to create the best interface for their media and preferences. There are also a wide range of hardware options, allowing users to balance price, performance, appearance, and other factors when setting up a client. Let's take a look at a couple of the most popular clients. Plex Media Player is an official Plex client so it usually gets the latest features first. It is relatively new and currently limited to PlexPass holders, but it was built from the ground up for performance and is very fast. This client is also a great option for beginners because it is easy to set up. The flip side is that it is not very customizable and offers a less immersive experience than some of the other clients. I also find that the hub layout makes browsing media more fragmented, but a lot of users do like it. OpenPHT is an open source Plex client with a well-established developer community. It is mature, stable, feature rich, and very customizable. The interface is one of the best out there with many options for customization and configuration that allow each user to fine tune it to their own needs. This does come at the cost of some time, effort, and experimentation, but the results are well worth it. This client also makes extensive use of artwork, which is one of the things that makes it so immersive. But selecting, acquiring, and managing artwork does require some effort to achieve the best outcome. Finally, OpenPHT may not get the latest features right away. Even so, it is still my favorite Plex client. In addition to these Plex clients, there are two great options for people who use the popular Kodi Media Client. The first is Plex Kodi Connect, which connects the Kodi front end to the Plex back end. The second is Plex for Kodi, which runs as an app within Kodi. This series will not delve into the world of Kodi, but I may produce a separate series on that at a later time. Coming up next, over the course of the next week or two, I will create a series of videos that walk you through the entire process of creating a dedicated Plex client with OpenPHT. I hope these videos are useful. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. And if you like what you see, subscribes are always welcome. Thank you.